Hello and welcome to another issue of the Headless Hammerhead Guide to Comics and More. So, uh, hopefully you all saw my latest video which uh, told you about a few changes to the channel. And we're going to be discussing the Lancer RPG for the most part. Although I will have videos regarding other role-playing games, other comic related stuff, and even art. Uh, so you can see my post where I outline what days of the week I'll be posting about each of those topics. So Lancer is a new role-playing game. It deals with mechs, so big machines that are driven by human pilots, and they do battles in grand style, if you're familiar with Neon Genesis Evangelion, or even Battletech, or Macross, things like that, then you're familiar with mechs. Now, my group just received the core rule books for Lancer and we're all just start well I've read the entire thing because I will be game master for this campaign again uh, the other players haven't even opened their books yet but I will do a short review here on the game before we've played it the core rule book is over 400 pages it is very detailed and very nice by the way it um, the cover is spot gloss and it even comes with a page marking ribbon built in it's a very very nice book it's from dark horse comics and uh there's got a lot of great art from well-known artists on the inside of the book as well the game is centered around the pilots and their mechs and basically there's dozens of different mechs that you can choose from the these are basically like your character class types um in general you'll have the types that are good in hand-to-hand -hand combat you'll have the ones that are good in ranged combat you have some that are good with uh tech stuff so like ai and and disrupting electronics and things like that and then you have the types that are more agile and more of a defense type of of play style in addition you have weapon systems that you can use to customize your mechs so that each one has a, a different flavor to it and different abilities with these weapon systems Overall, it allows for great customization on your characters. Um, the mechs, there's dozens of designs for the mechs, do dozens of different models for each mechs. But uh, you can change the look of your mech. You can draw your own or have AI do a, a version of a mech, and you can call it that specific model. For example, the Black Witch, you can make it look like something else completely than what it shows in the picture in the book. Uh, and it doesn't affect the functionality of your mech within the game, uh, but it, it makes it for a cool thing where you're not necessarily tied down to the design that it shows you in the book. The game uses elements from other role-playing games. There's a lot of elements that are similar to Marvel, a lot that are somewhat D&D-like, um, not so much Pathfinder, but several other systems. And I think it takes most of the best parts from all of those games because it's not weighed down with a lot of extra rules. It seems at first like it could be very complicated, but for example, combat is very simple and streamlined and not a lot of extra effects to weigh down the combat. Combat moves very quickly and um, there is a lot of role playing. Now it's interesting because I've watched some videos of people reviewing the game and they say it's a very battle heavy game. When I read the rule book, I took it more as a very heavy role-playing type of game, more so than battles. So I guess it's open to interpretation, uh, depending on how you want to run your game. For me, I like to run it, the, all my campaigns for every role-playing game that I play, more like the way I did Marvel, because it's more role-playing centered. I think that's more fun than just battle and rolling dice and stuff. Uh, to me, that's kind of boring. So I add a lot of elements of role-playing, a lot of intrigue, drama, politics, all that good stuff. And it takes the game into a deeper level than just hop in your mech and do a battle every time. Because there will be sessions where you don't hop in your mech at all and it's all straight role playing. And I think that makes it really interesting. Um, the game does take place in the future or in the distant past, however you want to interpret it. I mean, the pyramids may have been built using mechs that they found buried deep in the earth, right? So. Uh, you never know. Uh, it is a vast world because it's several galaxies tied together in an interesting way. Travel across galaxies is instantaneous through a special way that they've come up with, which is very, very cool. 
there's a whole world building section uh, that tells you the history of the Union that runs pretty much everything in all the universes and the galaxies. Um, it's a very intricate game, very involved. You can make it your own, of course, make your own section of the galaxy uh, or of the universe, make your own galaxy with your own planets. And you can have it all set in one planet. You can have it bounce around from one adventure to the other across different planets. The possibilities are endless with this game. Um, and I really like the idea of it. I've already written out an entire campaign. I will be putting that out um, maybe for sale. I may put out a couple of the adventures out for free. I've already created a Game Master screen like I did for Marvel. So you have an easy reference for a lot of the rules. And I think the key thing to remember if you're running a game of Lancer is that it's about a pilot and their mechs. It's not about the mechs. It's about the pilot and their mechs. And that's what's going to make this interesting and fun. It's not just combat, 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 combat. You need to add other elements in there of role playing to keep it really interesting and make it unique. I think this is going to be a great game. So far from what I've read uh, with the core rule book, I'm very excited. I was so inspired that I wrote an entire campaign already and I think you'll enjoy it too. So I would say give it a shot. Well, there you have it. That's a quick overview and a very, very quick review, mini review of Lancer role-playing game. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. I try to respond as quickly as possible. And don't forget to check out the video description because there I'll have links for the Game Master screen for Lancer and other links that are very important as well. Finally, check out my other videos. I have videos where I'm making some drawings. You'll see the process and in a time lapse. Uh, I think it's very interesting for some people. Uh, I'll also have videos other days of the week discussing other role-playing games, comics, and other stuff. So I'll see you on the next one. Uh -huh.